tyres are a very important part of the car, yet they are often overlooked. They are the only things in contact with the road, so even if you have a lot of power, you need something to put the power down with. While checking your tyres, you might have come across a pattern in the tread of them. In this video, we will be explaining each type of tread pattern, along with its pros and cons. Please note that this video will be focusing on the tread patterns of road cars. But first of all, what is tyre tread? Tyre tread is the rubber on the tyre that makes contact with the road. The larger the contact area you have with the road, the more grip you will get. This is why many sports cars have wider tyres to ensure that they can get the biggest contact patch possible, and it is also why many race cars don't have any grooves in their tyre tread so that all of the surface area is in contact with the ground. Tyres without any grooves are called slick tyres and they give you much more grip compared to a regular tyre. Grooved tyres have less grip than slick tyres in dry conditions, but they are illegal on road cars because they cannot be used in the wet without aquaplaning. Aquaplaning occurs when there is water in between the tyres and the road surface, resulting in a loss of traction that can be extremely dangerous. There are three main types of tyre tread patterns, multi-directional or symmetric, asymmetric and directional. Although tread patterns fit under these three categories, companies make their own variations of the pattern, so the tread pattern on your car could be slightly different to the patterns shown in the video. Let's start with symmetric or multi-directional tyres. These tyres are commonly found on cheaper cars as they feature a simple tyre tread pattern. They are called symmetric tyres because the tyre pattern on the inside of the tyre is the same as on the outside of the tyre. The name multi-directional comes from the fact that these tyres can rotate in any direction and they can be placed on any side of the car. This aids in making them cheaper to buy and replace as you don't need a different type of tyre. They offer good grip on dry roads. However, due to their tread design, they aren't the best on wet roads. The next type is the asymmetric tyre. These tyres have a different tread pattern on the inner and the outer of the tyre, so they are the best of both worlds from the wet and dry. The outer tread is best for giving grip in the dry, and the inner tread is best for giving grip in the wet. This can make them expensive. Because of the two different patterns, these tyres must be facing a specific way when mounted onto the car, unlike multi-directional or symmetric tyres. The part of the tyre that must be facing the outside will be marked. Many performance cars use this type of tyre due to its advantages. A well-known asymmetric tyre that is used in many sports cars is the Pirelli P0. The final type of tyre is the directional tyre. These types of tyres feature an arrow-like design and they are brilliant in wet conditions because the shape of the tread pattern is very good at displacing water to the sides in a way. Because of their tread design, they are very grippy. So this design is used in a lot of all-weather tyres. They are not very versatile compared with other tyres though, as they can only be placed on one side of the car and in one direction. In conclusion, multi-directional tyres are best if you are on a tighter budget. Directional tyres are best if you want lots of grip, and asymmetric tyres are the best all-rounders. Also remember to never mix a tyre tread on the same axle of the car as they will offer different handling and grip levels so it can be very dangerous. What type of tyres do you have on your car? Comment below.